My name is Jeffrey Joel. I am director of the Bingham Center for the Rule of Law. I'm also a practicing barrister. What is the rule of law? Well, there are three aspects to the rule of law. Firstly, that we live under a system of law and rules and principles and not just chaos or anarchy, which also implies that even government officials, even the police, everybody in society must be under, under some kind of law. And we solve our disputes equally by law and not by violence. The second aspect of the rule of law is that it refers to certain qualities, features of law itself, that it must be reasonably certain and predictable so that we can find out more or less. We won't know all the detail of the law, but we'll know that it is roughly certain, predictable, it won't change from day to day. Uh, and secondly, that it must be equally enforced, that rich and poor, the powerful and the marginalized are all treated equally. There's a deep sense of equality uh, underlying the rule of law. And thirdly, which is a slightly different sense of the rule of law, is that there must be access to, to justice. People must be able to challenge decisions made about them or against them. Uh, and when they do so, they ought to have access to, usually to courts of law, where they get a fair trial. And the judges who judge in those trials must be independent of the government and not say, well, you're, you're suing the government against something or suing the police, and I'm automatically in favor of the police. There must be a notion there of independence of the judiciary. So those three aspects of the rule of law are what makes up the rule of law as a whole. The rule of law is deeply important in, in all our lives. Everything we do, all actions we take, all transactions we enter into are governed really by the law. If you, if you buy some, some sweets in a shop, you enter into a contract. You must give the money, they give you the goods. That's, that's, that's the law. We're all under the law all the time. And m much of our activity, our daily activity, is governed by the rule of law. And that's why it's such an important concept to know about. Well, fairness relates to the rule of law in this way, that, for example, if I, am, if I am accused of a crime or if I'm stopped and searched in the street, I should be able to really challenge that decision. If I really feel I've done nothing wrong, I'm not innocent, these, I'm being picked upon, I'm not guilty of anything, I'm just walking along. Uh, so that's the fairness in the first sense, is the, the ability to challenge that decision, to have access to a system of justice. And then when you get into court, if you do go to court to challenge the decision, the actual trial must, must, must be fair. In some countries, if you go into court, they assume that you're guilty. And the trial is just a show trial, to show the public, oh, we observe the rule of law. But that's not rule of law, that's rule by law. But if rule of law requires that you are allowed to bring in a, a lawyer on your behalf or make a case on your behalf, uh, the, the, those against you may make their case, and then a judge fairly decides the, the outcome in a way that is, that is, that is uh, in accordance with independ the independence of the judge from the powers that be. Equality relates to the rule of law in this sense, that the law must be enforced or implemented um, equally. Any, anybody who's, who's rich and powerful, lives in a fancy house, should not be able to go to the police and say, I've done this, but you won't enforce against me because I'm such a powerful person. The poorest person ought to have equal treatment before the law. Uh, the most marginalized in our society ought to be treated in exactly the same way as anyone else. And it goes a bit deeper than that. Uh, the rule of law also requires that laws should not be made that discriminate against people for no good reason. People on the grounds of their race or color or nationality or appearance or the color of their skin. The rule of law requires the law to apply to everybody in a way that's that's equal, unless there's some real reason not to do so. For example, children may be treated somewhat differently from adults in some respects. Under our system in the United Kingdom, 
It's assumed that everybody can do anything they want unless there's a law that prohibits it. The person who enforces the law must act proportionately. They mustn't uh, introduce penalties that are disproportionate to the, to the, to the offence. If they're given powers to, to, to act in certain ways, they mustn't abuse that power and use it in a way that's totally unnecessary and hurts the person is oppressive in some way on a person's rights or interests. School students should learn about the rule of law and care about the rule of law because it is really a fundamental part of our daily lives and a necessary part of our daily lives. And it comes up time and time again. Uh, if you're accused of cheating in class, for example, and you haven't done it, you ought to be able to say to your teacher, look, can you hear me out on this? I, I really didn't do it. Um, if you're walking on a street and you're suddenly stopped and searched by the police, um, is, is that really fair if they're picking on just tall boys or small boys or people because of their, the color of their skin or their... Or, or, or other irrelevant aspects of your life. And, and if that does happen to you, uh, what can you do about it? How can you challenge these decisions? That's what the rule of law is all about. There are, there are rules about how we ought to behave in society, everybody. Uh, they ought to be observed, they ought to be applied equally, and be able to be challenged in a fair way. Everybody is entitled to certain freedoms, and liberties, and we should know what they are from the very start. And we should be able to shape those rules and, and help develop them and, and know what our rights are in society and how to assert them. And we should also know that everybody should be treated equally with equal human dignity. It's important for everybody to know that from the outset. It's not only for grown-ups, it's for all of us.